for children, the arrival of Sinterklaas is the highlight of the year. But for more and more adults, his black-faced assistants are racist and should disappear as soon as possible. We are here because we think Black Pete is racist. We want him to change, so it will be a party for everyone. Sometimes protesters clash with defenders of Black Pete. That's been the face that, uh, this children's party has been here for centuries. It's a Dutch tradition and we want to keep it. One of the key figures in the protests against Black Pete is Aquasi, a famous Dutch rapper and poet. The black peats are inferior to the big stinker class, and they have black faces. It belongs to your museum. It's part of the past, not of today. The city of Amsterdam asked an expert on Sinterklaas how to modernize the children's party. His reasoning was straightforward. In Amsterdam, there are roughly 110, 150,000 kids. And only some, something like 40% is like me, Caucasian white. Now, Santa Claus is for everybody. If people are disturbed by the presence of black peat, we should change it. It's not only about black paint, but also about red lips, about curly hair. It's really about stereotypes. People have no idea how offensive it is. Or they say it as a tradition that has to stay like it is. To end these stereotypes for good, Even has rewrote the story of Sinterklaas. He came up with the chimney peat. It became a success as his idea was taken over by many. In 2014, don't forget that over 90% of the Dutch population didn't want to change black peat. And nowadays, especially thanks to the influence of Black Lives Matter this year, in five or eight years or ten years, I'm assured, Sinterklaas is assured that everybody will love Chimney Pete's, and we just call it Pete. After many centuries, the Dutch are finally saying goodbye to Black Pete. For old children, the party is just beginning. Stefan de Vries, Euronews in Amsterdam.